Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to control a servo using an Arduino and a potentiometer like this. So let's get started. Okay, so here are all the things that you will need for this tutorial. The first thing you will need is an Arduino Uno. Second thing you'll need is four jumper wires. Third thing you'll need is a servo motor. Fourth thing you'll need is a potentiometer. And the fifth thing you'll need is a breadboard. Okay, so now let's get started with the wiring. First thing you will need to do is to put the potentiometer on your breadboard. And we can just plug it in like that. As you can see, it is in the breadboard. Make sure it is on the longer edge since all these rows are actually connected. So there is like a metal wire going down each of these. And if you were to plug the potentiometer into one row, it would short out the potentiometer. So now you will need to just take um, three jumper wires. I'm gonna take white, red, and black. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it into each of these rows that have this, uh, have these pins in them. So the way we're going to do that is first we're going to take our black wire, which is going to be our ground, and we're going to put it in the leftmost pin right here. So you can see how it goes, just like that. And now we're going to take our red pin, and we're going to put it in the rightmost row with the pin. And finally, we're going to take our white and put it right in the middle of both. So now if I get these wires out of the way, you can see that they all have a one row gap in the middle and that gap corresponds with the gaps between these pins on the potentiometer. Okay, so since our Arduino Uno, let me just turn this around, we can see that it only has one five volt rail right here. What we'll need to do is to allocate one row for five volts. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna allocate this row right here for five volts, but you can allocate any row you want. And now you just need to plug in your red wire into that five volt row. Now you will need to take your fourth jumper wire, plug it into the end of that row, and you will just need to take that and plug that wire into the five volt pin. So let me do that right now. Okay, so now I have connected that wire to the five volt pin on the Arduino. And we will need to also take our black wire, which is our ground on the potentiometer. And we will just need to connect that to the ground on our Arduino. So now finally we see that there is another wire right here and we will need to connect that to analog pin two on the Arduino. So that would be A2 and you will just need to plug that right in like that. So now we need to take our servo motor. So on my particular servo, you see that there are three wire colors. The first one is brown. So if you have a servo with either a brown, a black, or even sometimes a green wire that indicates that it will be the ground pin. So now second, we have a red one. So if you have a red or a white wire on here, it will be a uh, five volt. And finally, if you have any other color, that will be the uh, digital pin. So basically now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these onto, into the Arduino. So first the ground, we will connect that to the ground on our Arduino. We'll take our five volt and, it, and we will connect it to our dedicated five volt row on our breadboard. And finally, we will take our data pin and connect it to pin nine on the Arduino. And we're connecting it to pin nine since if I, let me just bring this closer to the camera. We see that there is a squiggly mark next to pin nine, indicating that it is a pulse width modulation pin. 
And the Arduino will use pulse width modulation to actually control our servo. So once you've done that, you've finished the wiring, and now we can jump over to our computer. OK, so now we can actually start coding. So you'll need to now open up the Arduino IDE. So you'll need to go into Tools, go down into Board, make sure your board is selected. Go down into Port, make sure you're on the correct port. And we can just close this. So the first thing we need to do now is to import the Arduino servo library. And the way we do that is by adding this line. Number sign includes servo.h. And now we need to create a few variables. So the first one is going to be uh, our servo object. So the way we do that is just by typing in servo, servo. And this right here is our servo object, and this is the actual servo module. The second variable we'll need to create is our potentiometer pin. And our potentiometer is on pin 2. And so we'll just need to create an integer. We'll call this pot pin. And we'll set that equal to 2. And we'll add a semicolon. And finally, we'll create a variable called val. And I will explain to you what this does in a moment. And val. So now we'll need to go down into setup. And we will need to tell our servo object what pin the servo is connected to. And we have it connected to pin 9. So we'll just need to type in servo.attach. We'll just need to type in a 9 in here. And this will just tell it that we have a servo on pin 9. That's all we need for our setup. And now we need to go down into the loop. And so now I'm just going to be showing you how you can actually write values to the servo. And that basically means that the servo will go to the position that you specify. So the way we do this is just by typing in servo dot write. And we need to input in an angle measurement. So right now, let's just do 20 at a semicolon. And if we upload this, you can see over here that the servo moves to the 20 degree position. If we set this to 180 and hit upload, it goes to the 180 degree position. So when we are controlling a servo with a potentiometer, we want the servo to use the same angle measurement as our potentiometer. And the way we do that is just by constantly pulling the potentiometer, checking what it's at, and then we'll move the servo to that angle. So now we will first need to check the position of the potentiometer. And the way we do that is by typing in val equals analog read. And we will set that to the pot pin. And we'll add a semicolon. So this val will basically hold the value of the pot pin, or in this case, the potentiometer. And so this will report values from 0 to 1,023. But our servo only takes measurements from 0 to 180. So we need to do something here to convert the values from the potentiometer into degree measurements. And the way we do that is by using the map function. So right now, what we need to do is type in val equals map. What variable uh, will we take the value from? We'll need to take that from val. Now we need to input the measurements of our potentiometer. So that's 0, comma, 1,023, comma. And now we need to input the values of our servo, which would be 0 to 180. And we can add a semicolon here as well. So what this will do is it will basically set the value of val depending on 
the value of the potentiometer as you see here. Okay, so now we actually need to write the value to the servo. And the way we do that is just by typing in servo dot write, and we will need to write the value to the servo because that will be in a degree measurement that this function will take. And finally, we'll need to add a delay so that our servo actually has time to move to that position. And we'll just add a 15 millisecond delay and that should do it. So if we upload this to the Arduino, let's give it a moment. We see that it moved to the same position as our potentiometer. So now if we actually move the potentiometer like this, we see that the servo moves alongside it. If I move, if I move a bit faster, like this, the servo moves with the potentiometer. So if this worked for you, you've successfully completed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.